Oh. All right, here we go. So let's go over this assignment here quick that you just worked on with more A's. All right, let me pull this back up. Oh, darn. Kind of got rid of it. Where is it? <clears throat> let me pull it back up. Just lost it. All right, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Number one, legislating mores. There we go, sooner or later. There we go. There we go. Cheating on an income tax return, IL or IM. Is it illegal or is it immoral? Illegal. Yeah. Yeah. If you do that, oh man, you're gonna you're gonna get jail. Straight to jail. Did I show you that video then? Yesterday? Oh, I forgot to show. Yeah. Oh, straight to jail. You cook you overcook someone, straight to jail. Undercook them. Jail. <laughs> All right. Stealing materials from an office supply cabinet. I do this quite a bit here. Well, it's illegal. You're not supposed to say that. Well, what if you're like a teacher? What if you're a teacher? Well, then why don't you just ask? I do. I take a little bit more than I should, I guess. It's already bought, though. It's stealing, but it's not illegal. I'm just making sure I have enough tissue boxes ready to go, right? We're in a pandemic. Come on now. I have more in the cabinet. I have like three in there. Don't tell anybody. Anyway. All right, so I guess we can all agree I, I am. Getting drunk for all of you in here, I L. For you, I am the pen. No, it's a pen. If it's a party at Leah's, then it's no big deal. Right? No big deal. All right, so anybody 21 or older, I am, but anybody you guys' age, I L. Yeah, okay, there you go. Shouldn't be doing that, right, Tegan? You should just say, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. Collecting unemployment insurance when a job is available. Oh, I did? Oh, my gosh. Discriminating against an ethic, ethnic or racial group when selling a house. Immoral? I guess if it's really hard to find that stuff out, I guess. But, I mean, if someone was caught and... Maybe in a recording saying, oh, yeah, I'm not selling just because of their racial background or ethnic background. And, yeah, maybe I would say it's illegal. They'll probably lose their job. Um, I don't know. They'd probably get fined. I don't think they get fined. Equal opportunity employer, right? That's what you hear all the time when a job is uh, advertised. So, yeah, I guess I would say I owe that. But that's tough. E. Collecting unemployment insurance when a job is available. Immoral? Yeah, I'd say it's immoral. You have those people that uh, apply to a job and say it doesn't work out, and they just go back to their same old collecting and collecting unemployment. Oh, man. So I am, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you're right. Okay, F, stealing an unlocked bicycle from the schoolyard. Illegal. Yeah, you're right. Unless it's your buddy, right? And you ghost it down over the hill. Is it okay to steal your buddy's car too? Probably shouldn't be that. Okay. Now, when we were at the pool, my my best friend, when we were growing up, he would always leave his bike out and he never had a lock. And uh, my brother's friends would always grab his bike. And at the pool in Higgins, there's like a big hill that goes down in the park into a creek. And they would always just ghost it down over the hill into the creek. So we, we'd come out of the pool and I'd go walking over to my bike and he'd automatically, because it was every day, just take a left, go down and get his bike from the creek. It's like, oh my gosh, poor guy. Jeez. Yeah, right? Well, I had a lock and I never allowed him because I thought it was kind of funny every day. Uh, he's my buddy. Jeez. All right, not stopping to help an accident victim. Immoral? Yeah, I would think too. Come on now. 
charging an item one does not plan to pay for. Autumn? Illegal. Illegal? Not if you don't get caught. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, I mean, if you are going to purchase an item and say, hey, I'll, I'll make sure I get you back on this, pay you back, then yeah. Or if you use a credit card and don't pay back those credit bills, then yeah, I would say that's illegal. Come on now. All right. Uh, Thing love for someone in order to get favors. Oh, immoral. immoral. Oh, yeah. Bachelor in Paradise. Oh, oh man, back again. It's going to be on the recording every single day. What's with the... I didn't say that. Oh, jeez. All right, two. Which other behaviors listed in question one reflect changing values and mores? What do you think? Leah, go ahead. The fact that, like, back in the older days, people used to work hard. All people used to work hard. And, like, nobody talked about unemployment. And now every single place is hiring because they can't get the help through that people just collect the unemployment instead. You're right. Definitely changing time during this pandemic and uh, government policies. Okay, good. Uh, maybe getting drunk. I know my dad always talked about it when he was younger, and it was just a slap on the wrist. And when cops would ever catch them, they'd be like, oh, your parents are going to give you a bigger punishment than I ever will. Now, oh, my gosh, they throw the book at you, right? They throw the book at you, unless you're at Leah's party. All right, three, what American values and mores are supported by laws? Okay, yeah, good. Leah? No stealing, yeah. Swipe or no swiping? Anybody watch that? Door the Explorer? Okay. I was going to say, man, getting old here. What? Five, describe a relationship between values and laws. Madden, what do you have for five? Didn't you get there yet? What? What are you doing? Yeah, I get What? Well, let's go over five. Man, you have that one or not? Sarah? I said values are like. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, good job, good job. So societal, okay, laws. And then let's say with values, it might be just more traditional. It might be family-based. Good, good. All right, good. Six, to what extent do you think government should legislate morality? Leah? I think people should be left on Okay. All right. Good. Good. So maybe a little bit more freedoms for people, and uh, maybe the government shouldn't overstep their uh, their all uh, overall uh, standing. I guess. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Any questions on that, guys? Which one did I skip? Four. What American values and mores are not supported by laws? <gasps> yeah okay the hashling and slasher and we talked about yesterday with that scenario Jeez, it all started because this lady was being frisky right okay good job good job so make sure uh you guys all got credit for you all participated good work i'll give you a grade for it even tegan showing up halfway through it no you don't have to hand it it's fine those of you at home do though recorded Little lesson here. Man old days. All right. So, bell ringer for today. Explain and give examples. There you go. Uh, a formal norm, informal norm, more, folkway, and taboo. I could not sleep last night, by the way. Every time I woke up, I'm like, taboo, folkway, norm. It was crazy. I don't know what was going on. And Venom 2 kept me up. So, so excited. Absolutely not. What do you say? I'm going to be very disappointed with it. I hope not. I hope it's awesome. Why do you always have to lie to both couples? Jeez. What, do you want me to underline them? Highlight them? No, I just know that it's a both couple. All right, fine. Sorry, Leah. 
hopefully I get invited to the next family get together party. <laughs> I am moral, getting drunk. <laughs> Hopefully they have one of those popcorn things with venom on it today. Those popcorn containers. That'd be cool. Would you keep it? I would. I yeah. Frame it. I think I might. <laughs> like a soda or something with him at the top. Oh. <laughs> No. Whoa. Structure. All right. Structure. Come on now. You know what to expect in here, right? For what? Oh, I did see that. I wonder who put that in. I don't even have Facebook anymore, so I was surprised to see it on there. Yeah, no, it's okay. I don't need to see it. Jeez, all right. Really? Oh, cool. Teller said thanks. Look who it is. Well, no, it's because she was we nice. were saying about who I wanted to go to Mackin's game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, is that this weekend at Penn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I know we might be going up to Lycoming's homecoming, but we'll see. Either way, I'm going to be watching it on e It's Friday at 7, right? Yeah. Either way, I'm going to watch it on ESPN+. Plus. Sweet. They're very similar. <clears throat> you mean the same example? Yeah, they're they're very similar. Do you guys have those buttons that say sixty two with a heart around it? What? Tegan, no. You guys have those buttons with like 62, his number, um, or the I heart? <laughs> we used to have that like hell. My grandma used to wear it. It's like, get that off. All right, let's get to it. Formal norm. What do we have? Chris, what do you got? A formal norm. Okay, so these are like laws, right? Okay, these are like the establishments of uh, what we know as society as right or wrong. Okay, good, good. What about informal norm? It's an informal norm. Sarah, what's an informal norm? 
I can't hear you, sorry. Okay, all right, good job. So informal norm, maybe there's not a written law, let's say, it's more just of a unwritten law, right? It's, a, it's implied that this is something that society should follow. All right, good, good job. So branches of informal norms, we have a more, a folk way. What is a folk way? What's an example of a folk way? Leah? Yeah, okay. Yeah, good job. So this is something that is not as severe as a more and not as severe as a taboo. So if you had to break them down in the categories, a folk way would be like maybe butting someone in line. Yesterday I was at the Bloom Fair and I butted someone in line for pizza. I had no clue that the line stretched over to the side. So I like walked up, took a slice of pizza. I looked back and the lady's like, you just skipped me. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Just a slice of pizza. Calm down. My bad. So yeah, an example of a folk way, maybe jipping someone in line. It's not as severe. The punishment may be a confrontation, depending on how pissed off that person is. They might fight you. I don't know. I fight you. I saw a fight yesterday too at the boom fair. Crazy. They're all they're all ecstatic, I guess, about being there. All right, what about Amore? What's Amore? Leah? Okay, all right. So again, more severe than a folk way. This might be lying, cheating, stealing. A lot, a cheat, a steal. You guys ever watch W? No, like, no WWE back in the day. Eddie Guerrero? No, Chris knows. Chris knows. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit more intense than what a folk way is. And maybe the repercussions. Those are examples of what a more would be. Lying, cheating, stealing. Oh, my gosh. And then taboo. This is the most severe. What do we have here? Tegan, what's taboo? What's an example of taboo? One sec. Oh, okay. Text him. Nothing. Oh, I'm just checking. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So taboo might be obvious. It's really extreme. So murder might be rape. Okay, something like that. And uh, we talked about some examples when we went over some cultural differences. We all discussed and like fringed when we saw that older man in the Middle East with a 10 year old wife. It's like, what? This is unbelievable. She has no way of actually knowing what love is at this age. But here she is married to a 40 year old. What? Crazy. All right, terms for today. <clears throat> What? What? We're doing so much. Oh my gosh. Then you have an assignment too yet. Oh. Yeah, we'll have tomorrow. What do you mean you have an assignment? You have an assignment. Yeah. Give us a break. Nope. Okay, just three terms. Robin Williams. Not the Robin Williams you're thinking of, though. Not Robin Hood. I don't even know another Or no, uh, Peter Pan, sorry. <laughs> Not Mrs. Doubtfire. Great movie. Great movie. Not Genie from Aladdin, the cartoon. Flubber. Love Flubber. You know, one of the root words in cultural is cult. Oh, that's true. So. <laughs> wow. I mean, it kind of is like you know. Communities don't have to follow specific laws and stuff. And yeah, you're right. Yeah. Go to Leah's family's house. Oh, we're smoking, drinking, toting. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Who's your favorite one, Madden? Isn't that the color? Ninja Turtles. 
You have Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello. And Master Splinter. I don't remember which one was your girlfriend. I think you're a nerd. Shredder. Did you just hear about it? I heard her. <laughs> Try to ignore it. Yes, she thinks I'm a huge nerd. That's why she picked it. I like it live. I once bought, well, my dad gave me a $50 gift card for Christmas. He said, oh, you could use this for gas going back and forth to college. Yeah, or buy a lightsaber. <laughs> I bought a lightsaber instead. That really Scared my roommate. That was awesome. Priceless. Really I walked over. It was like the end of the night. He goes, hey, you want to turn the light out? Yep. So I turn the light out. And all you see is this lightsaber just light up. <laughs> I would have loved. You should have got one from fair last night. No, those aren't legit. I, I How much did you spend on that? Don't there. worry I about it. Kidding. Wait, you're at the Bloom Fair last night. Yeah. I was there. I didn't see you. Uh, did you go on that like ski lift thing? No, I didn't go on any of the rides. Oh, okay. I didn't have time. I don't have time. My girlfriend's cousin tried to do the two minute hang on the bar. Yeah. He's like, you should get up there. I'm like, yeah, right. After eating pizza. A maple hot dog, a egg roll. What else I have? What Chili. Then I had milkshake. Maybe that's why I couldn't sleep last night. So wired up. All right, I got to get through this. So here we go. Worst comes to worst, we do the assignment in class tomorrow. How about that? Then you don't have homework. Nope. Just kidding. I'm, I'll, I'll try to get through it all. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start off with Robin Williams here, and he's known for associating cultural uh, values, uh, 10 core values to U.S. society. So I had an, an activity for you where you're going to just write out what you believe that most Americans view as core values, but I'll just give it to you now. This is what he came up with. So achievement and success, individualism, right? Yeah, hard work. Efficiency, practicality, science and technology. Aren't you following the science back there, huh? <laughs> you hear that all the time. Uh, <clears throat> material comfort, well, that's for sure. We love our materialistic objects. We like our phones. We like our cars. We like our clothes. Our iced coffees. Dude. I'm not going to ask Keegan anymore about her favorite iced coffee. Ooh, I don't remember. Freedom, definitely freedoms. You're not giving me the vaccines for guess what freedom. I understand. Oh, anyway. Democracy, <clears throat> equality, and group superiority. So again, advancement, individualism. We're looking at capitalist society. We're looking at the advancements of a capitalist society. We're always striving for greatness. Okay, we're always trying to um, form these successes through individualistic tendencies. <clears throat> I know I take a lot of pride in my yard. Got them going straight lines. Make sure there's no weeds in there. Oh, I'm turning into the dad already. Indeed. Wearing Crocs. I like my Croc collection with my gibbets in them. I have Batman in one of them. Oh. Make sure everybody knows who I am, Batman. But anyway, these are 10 core values that Robin Williams, not the comedian you, you're thinking of, but Robin Williams, the sociologist, developed. Did you just realize that now, Mrs. Doubtfire? That's why I said it in the term. Uh, you don't know Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're uncultured. That's what I'm saying. Flubber? You, know what you ever see Flubber? See Flubber? Yeah. All right, so here are. I haven't even seen the movie that I know. Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> With, like, the whipped cream on her face. It's, like, dripping down because she's trying to make sure that they're. All right, I'll give you the gist of Mrs. Doubtfire quick, but I got to keep moving here. So Mrs. Doubtfire, she wants to see her, he wants to see Robin Williams' character, his children, and he impersonates, he tries to act like a babysitter. So he dresses up like an old nanny so that he can watch his kids be with his kids all the time. And then they grow an, attention, uh, grow an attachment to Mrs. Doubtfire. And I'll let you watch the rest. I like when she has the pots and pans when she leans to him and says, oh, my God. That's funny. All right. Um, Are you a narcissist? Maybe. Are you? No. Do you look in the mirror before you get out and you leave uh, for the day? Look at your clothes, look at your outfit, make sure that your eyebrows are 
doesn't mean yeah. I like it. I just have to make sure it's acceptable. Okay, well, you show a little bit of tendencies, of narcissism. Then. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I know on the football field, I always try to make sure I look all right. Huh? Make sure I look good. Uh, when I go out to wrestle, same thing. Get an extra small singlet. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> it's joking. It's joking. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, we, we all find those tendencies with narcissism in American culture. Uh, physical fitness, we all work out, right? Madden runs 25 miles a day. A day. Oh, yeah, here we go. A week, yeah, a week. Yeah. <clears throat> Youthfulness, definitely. That's why I still watch comics and watch Venom 2. I'm going to watch that tonight. Stay up to, up to date with you guys with your comic book characters. Uh, and environmental protection, yeah, especially in today's world, we're looking for uh, conservation. We're looking for how to make the, the world a little bit cleaner. That's a huge thing right now. Oh, my gosh, even government's putting a lot of policies and in international stage, or maybe we need to focus a little bit more attention on protecting the world. Social media, oh, yeah, for sure. All right, so examining culture. Well, sociologists study culture, breaking it down into levels, studying each level separately. But well, we can break down different social groups, social tendencies, okay, uh, different uh, informal, formal norms, and really relating that to other cultures. So this global perspective and understanding how societies all around the world may have tendencies, may have linkage to another culture where we can compare it to. What was that? Jeez. Someone had chili last night, too, I guess. Oh I actually did have chili today. Oh, well, we all know now. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, so examining culture, we're trying to find tendencies amongst other cultures and really just understand these core values and relate them to one another through this global perspective, this sociological perspective. Cultural traits. So individual societal traits that we can all examine and understand and utilize as a, as, a, uh, as a form of traditional value. So the United States, big thing when it comes to dining, using utensils. We're not just using finger, we're not eating like caveman here, just diving into food, unless it's pizza, that's finger food, right? And nachos, chicken tenders, chicken nuggets. Yeah, all of those. Yeah, they are pretty good. They are pretty good. What is it, like a dollar for 20 of them now? I oh, know, a dollar for 10 of them at Burger King. A dollar for the time. I don't like What? It. I'm thinking about it. I like Wendy's. Yeah, I don't like it. Wendy's, yeah, there you go. So cultural traits, this can expand from the smallest of things of our dietary, um, our dietary values and then moving up into our society with entertainment with uh, this idea of uh, really understanding the United States as a whole and comparing it to other countries. It really goes to broad extents uh, and broad examples like our military, how we can compare our military to others and our stance in the world to others. All right, so George Murdoch, he's another famous sociologist where he compared uh, many, many cultures all around the world to try to come up with these cultural tendencies, these cultural aspects, uh, these cultural universals that all resemble each other. And he narrowed it down to many things, sports, uh, myths, folklores, medicine, housing, funeral ceremonies, uh, dancing, cooking, family. Yeah, a lot of these cultures around the world share these types of cultural universals. <clears throat> and we already know what a cultural universal is. And I don't think I'm going to get to the activity. So I'm going to end it here. We're going to work on that activity tomorrow and we'll talk about it. So you'll have all class period tomorrow to work on this activity. And hopefully by the end of the period, you can, um, you can present that to the class, talk about it. You don't have to create a presentation for it. You just have to talk about it. So you're just going to examine another culture and their certain tendencies, their cultural universals, you name it. All right. See you guys later. Have a good one. Take care.